Hello everyone, this is Mohammad Azmal, founding engineer iMesh and today we will be looking into Istio with Prometheus and Grafana. We all know Istio as one of the most reliable service mesh available that provides out of the box mutual TLS and uh, uses on web proxy for all your requests and a lot of things. So all of those are great but a good service mesh becomes best if it has support for observability and telemetry. And Istio is second to none in providing those features. You can use Prometheus and Grafana with Istio to uh, gather uh, metrics about your uh, cluster, about your apps running in it. So uh, we'll look into how to install Prometheus and Grafana with Istio. However, uh, we are assuming that you have already installed Istio in your cluster. So in order for Prometheus and Grafana to work properly in a Kubernetes cluster, you need to create uh, the deployments, you need to write uh, the configuration and uh, you also need to write the config maps and you need to make sure that Grafana is able to access the Prometheus data and a lot of more things. So either we can spend the next 40 minutes doing that or I can show you one simple way to do it that is by using Istio only. So if you have Istio and uh, if you go to the Istio's uh, samples and inside that the add-ons folder you'll see it has quite a lot of YAML files taken from Grafana, Jaeger, Kiali and Prometheus. These are the things that come with Istio that Istio supports and installing Prometheus is as easy as simply applying an YAML file and you're done. Same thing with uh, Grafana as well. All you can do is you can simply apply uh, the YAML file and you will be good to go. And uh, all these things are installed in the Istio system namespace by default. However, if you want uh, to know more about any custom configuration such as uh, uh, running uh, if you already have Prometheus and Grafana set up how do you install Istio and communicate with it so it would depend a lot more on how you have installed it in your cluster so if those advanced topics are something you want us to cover uh, let us know in the comments and uh, if you are in a hurry you can reach out to us at uh, imesh.ai that's our website you can contact us and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you and uh, since we have installed uh, the Prometheus and Grafana, you, we can verify that uh, it is installed in the Istio system namespace. You can see it is running as the standard pods uh, here. And let's go and look at the sample application that we are going to use. You can use any application that you want. And for this example, what I've done, I've chosen to go with HTTP bin and uh, nothing special. There are just few YAML files that you need to apply. Uh, you need to make sure that uh, your namespace is labeled with Istio injection enabled so that uh, uh, you are able to, uh, the Istio sidecar proxies are able to install while you are applying the uh, configuration and adding the pods. I have done uh, everything and uh, so that's why it's just giving me unchanged. I have installed it with gateway and configured everything. Now let us see how to access Prometheus and Grafana and we'll quickly jump into the service as well but let me show you how to access Prometheus. So to do that you can simply use if you have if you have the Istio CTL command which is by the way very handy and if you're using Istio you need this. You can do Istio CTL dashboard Prometheus and uh, it will open a Prometheus dashboard and uh, you can also do the same thing uh, with uh, Istio CTL dashboard uh, Grafana and here we have Grafana running as well so yeah you're you're pretty much done with this we'll see how to use this but let us go and look into our application so this application is also using the uh, gateways and uh, the way to use the gateway uh, if you look into the Istio telemetry uh, namespace we have one gateway installed and since I'm running it in my local cluster using Minikube, what you can do is you can port forward the gateway itself. So we'll be doing that for this example. But however, if you're running it in your own cluster, just take the gateway IP or whatever you have exported to. It should work fine. And uh, let's get the service in Istio system. Right, this to ingress gateway is uh, is already configured here and it is installed while you are installing Istio so we are mostly done here all I need to do is port forward the service sorry is Istio system if only I can type I'll port forward it to 777 and I think we are good 
Now let us visit the local host 777 and see yeah we have the HTTP bin server running. Now I will be using postman to make the request you can however stick with the this one as well for the scope of this example let us go to postman quickly and let us make a get request to this IP nice it is working. Uh, what about the post request? we have that as well nice so i'm just making random request here so that uh, we have something to see and even here as well uh -huh. now if you go to prometheus there are a lot many metrics that you can use uh, something related to kubernetes something related to your api server uh, related to envoy as well that is being installed uh, uh, while you are adding prometheus we have few istio metrics as well and one of which is request total you can see uh, by running this I am able to get the total number of requests and uh, let us just make sure it is coming from our namespace that is just your telemetry and yeah you can see total number of 28 requests is hitting and all that but that's fine. So uh, what I am trying to do here is let let so we, we can gather a lot of matrix using Prometheus and all but let us see something useful something like CPU utilization or something like that right and uh, we will be looking into the golden matrix uh, or the main uh, matrix that you would uh, need to that you would need to kind of uh, have an idea about in your cluster that is CPU, memory and uh, latency, the network request and everything. So all those things we will be looking into but yeah beyond uh, every act like going deep into everything is definitely beyond the scope of this video. So let us start with something simple now let us let us see what is the memory consumption. Uh, for this particular uh, application running. So for that there is one metric called uh, container memory max uses byte and even working set bytes you can even, even use that let us go with it and you can see oh we are getting quite a lot of information about uh, uh, all of these things uh, let us restrict it to our own specific namespace <coughs> that is Istio telemetry and execute. So yeah, this is the memory consumption of this particular, uh, you can say namespace. And what we can do to even make it more, uh, uh, you know, uh, more helpful is that we can even get the sum of it over a different interval of time, right? It's not, I mean, in an ideal situation, the num memory consumption would fluctuate over time. And that's what we'll try to replicate here. Now, let us see what is the total uh, kind of the sum of the total memory consumption and that is this much right and uh, what you can do is you can even group it by pod uh, and uh, we are getting the pod name here and just imagine if we have multiple pods we can even do that uh, 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 it, it will show up here now uh, this is one of the great things since you are already using Prometheus what you can do is you can simply plot this graph in Grafana as well and let us go there Let's go there in Grafana, go to dashboard and we'll create our own new dashboard. I'll add a panel and I'll give this panel a title of CPU memory, right? And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the query and I'll simply say run query. Now you see already we are getting a lot of data. You can see the memory consumption was kind of increasing, decreasing while we were starting the pods and all. And you can even set up legends here the way you want. You can simply say that uh, this is my pod. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is formatted like this. Right? Nice. So, and uh, you can even set at what time and frequency it should uh, fetch. And hit save. Right. Yeah. And we have our own visual little visualization and that you can s uh, see the data in last 5 minutes, you can see it in the last 12 hours, there is nothing much but yeah you can see this is we are barely scratching the surface here and moreover this data is in bytes so you can even try to convert it to something like uh, yeah, you know you just make it divided by 1024, convert it to kilobytes and then uh, uh, megabytes and all those things you can do right. So that is also possible here whatever things you can do with prometheus uh, you can definitely do within the istio setting as well and let's plot this one instead nice 
nice we are getting it now let's have a look at the cpu usage uh, as well uh, we'll go to the there is one more matrix that you can use that is uh, cpu seconds if i'm not wrong yeah cpu second cpu usage seconds total right and execute this will give you an I rough idea about what is the cpu seconds it is using but uh, such matrix that are kind of like a bucket or kind of like a counter uh, the better way to do uh, uh, better way to make sense of them is to uh, take into consideration the rate of change and that's what we'll be doing we'll take a rate and uh, we'll take a rate of change for over probably 5 minutes should be fine right and what we'll do is we'll again take a sum of it and we'll group it by pods right we only have one pod so this is what we get and this is you can see in seconds you what you can do is you can multiply it by 1000 uh, to make it in milliseconds and why not plot it as well let's create a new uh, panel and we'll name it as uh, CPU uh, what was it CPU seconds nice paste it here run the queries and in legend I can provide uh, just the pod name I think it should work fine and it's already getting the label name because there's only one label and we have it apply see that's how easy it is to set up the visualization and this is the data in last five minutes i can play around you can even uh, you know get a uh, make a number of requests you can take an average of requests and you can do a lot of things this is we are barely scratching the surface over here and definitely you can even save the dashboard name it something uh, save it here you can already use the sto one so yeah this is pretty much it uh, in this video and make sure to give your thoughts on this and if these are the kind of content you would like to see more and quickly wrap it up we have seen how uh, to install prometheus and how to use it few of the matrices and uh, we also had a glimpse about the golden matrix for observability and telemetry so hope this helps okay. thank you